Lucane for two says, damn it, Nick, we lost the kids again. <laughs> uh, one of the, dude, when, when I, even, when that shirt, okay, in case you're wondering, when, um, when, fu- oh God, hold up. Let me just show you what I mean. Because I think there, are, there, there's a chance that some people may not know about this. Because they're like newer viewers or they just don't, they haven't been around so long. Um, but years ago, when Nick was famous just for doing the, um, the Vic Mignogna lawsuit, uh, his attorney in uh, Texas, uh, Ty Beard, literally printed this shirt that says, Damn it, Nick, we lost the case again. And when I saw this shirt, and this was early into the lawsuit, this was super early, I told Nick, Bro, that shirt is tempting fate. That shirt's bad fucking juju. I don't like that. That's shit. I wouldn't do that. That's fucking, that's like really, that's really arrogant and that's going to blow up in your face. And it sure as fuck did. And this shirt is like iconic now. Um, my favorite edit is the one that just says, damn it, nigga. By the way, there, um, th- this guy, his, um, red bubble is unlikely beard. And I, I tried to find this shirt because I wanted to buy it. So I could like frame it <laughs> and invite that bad juju. Um, but I, when I went on to his um, Redbubble, it said, damn it, Nick, it changed. And I don't know if this is all, if he's the, if Ty Beard himself is the only person who has this version of this shirt. But um, when I went to the Redbubble, it just said, damn it, Nick, you lost the case again. Not we, as in not inclusive of Ty Beard. And I can't tell. If it was always you, like if the only shirt that was printed with the word we was the one that he's wearing, or if he went back and he changed it to you at some point. I swear to God, I sound like a fucking schizophrenic, but I swear to fucking God that this is reality, okay? I swear, I swear to you I'm not insane. Uh, Melon Salt for five says Detroit is hell. Caught two fat neighbors fucking in the hallway. I feel like it's time to move. Wish me luck, bro. Get the fuck. How the fuck are you still in Detroit? And, and what's funny is that they say that Detroit's on the up and up, but it's like, nah, bro. Get the fuck out of there. Wager Wagner for five says it took me and a friend over one year being given the runaround and seven hundred dollars to get body cam footage from a police incident, but it was all worth it. Well, my friend, you don't happen to have a uh a f- the FOIA guy on your side. I have a feeling that they're gonna give us what we want. They're going to give us what we owe. Kurt Eichenwald, Anime Masturbator for Five, says, Glorious Kiwi Emperor, have you thought of hiring Chris Boras to cleanse your Serbian hovel for Gumroad content? He does it over Zoom. <laughs> the, um, the Irie Gamer? No, I don't think so. I don't, like to, I don't like to dabble in that spooky shit. I added the fucking, um, the King Sigil or whatever to the bottom of the Kiwi Farms because of a meme, and then all the Keffels and all the Liz Fong Jones shit happened immediately afterwards, and I replaced it with that Bible verse. I ain't never added no fucking spooky shit to nothing ever again. I believe in it now. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!